trying to make it a little more better lit in here. Oh, fuck it. Give a fuck. Um, so it was a sweep, which I'm not surprised of. Um, I remember the last time I put out videos, I was literally, literally looking for close to two hours trying to decide. So this week, I kind of took an opposite approach. I just went with, well, I had it down to four videos right away. And uh, you guys ever watched the movie? You guys ever heard of the movie Joe Bell? Watched it Monday or Tuesday. I then spoke to mom and dad when I went to their house uh, Wednesday. Told them about it. <clears throat> and dad's a dad's a sucker for a fucking true movie. Like a, a real, a true story. That's what it was, a true story. Joe Bell. Mark Wahlberg starred in it. And uh, it just came upon me. I was bored. And I found it on Amazon Prime. And it was so good. And so many things that just like hit home personally with me. So yeah, I told my mom and dad about it. And surprisingly enough, they watched it yesterday, and mom and dad told me how much they enjoyed it. So it's about bullying. So that's where, and then this, this video kind of, the song came to mind. So that's kind of where I got today's uh, pick from. And then the uh, the Halsey and uh, DJ Khaled, not DJ Khaled. Um, I forgot the guy's name. That's that song's always been in my pocket. I just I that's a great song. Especially the chorus of that. That's another thing that hits kind of home with me. But anyways, <clears throat> that's why I picked those songs. Um of course I'm always worried about Jim. There's so many rap songs that I don't submit cuz at the end of the day I don't want it to be 10 minutes of torture for anyone, so I don't put the rap songs in hardly ever anymore. Uh, okay, so, again, Jay, like, <sighs> that stuff, it's kind of like how I like studio version songs or studio videos, because it's just, like, so, like, raw. You're, um, you're not knowing the name of Gilbert Godfrey today was so funny and relatable, and just the faces you were making, like, I felt like I was right there with you. It was just, that was one of the classics. That was great. Uh, so that made me laugh really hard. Um, I'm a hundred percent with Jay. So I want you to talk about. I'm gonna try to get this done. We kind of give Jay a rough time about Super Bowl Sunday. How he just doesn't acknowledge it. I would like to I would like to not acknowledge Easter. Or I think people should not acknowledge anything they don't want to acknowledge. Like I'm going to mom and dad Sunday for dinner and I don't want to. I don't it's not that I want to go it's it's the reason why we're going. It's fucking Easter. I think since the end of high school I started really having a problem with Easter. I don't like it. I don't like the memories of it. I don't like the memories of fucking Dressing us up like a bunch of little clowns on Sunday morning and going to church where we had no idea what the fuck was going on. I hate Easter. I hate strong. I really, really dislike Easter. So, uh, and then, and then Don, listen, to each their own. Like, it's great that you love Easter, but hearing you talk and the words you used, like, I don't even remember the words you used. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Like, well, you just you're just kidding, right? You're just well, it's, okay. It's just Jesus, Lord and Savior. Like, holy fuck. Like, and again, like if people that are that religious, like I don't, I don't, um, I don't get it. I got beliefs about other shit, but oh god, Easter sucks so bad. And it's going to be so packed on masses because here come all the dads 
fucking traipsing in because it's fucking Easter. Why do we acknowledge everything because it's on a calendar? You know what a great day is today? Because it's Good Friday, I guess. But today's fucking Jackie Robinson Day in baseball. Like, that's way more relatable. And it's real. Like, it fucking happened. There's documentation. There's footage. It's... That's what I like. I like everyone's wearing 21 today. 42. <laughs> I don't think 21. Maybe Clemente. But yeah, everyone's wearing 42. Uh, baseball's done a really good job with that. I remember 1997 when they... Um, I remember when they first had Jackie Robinson Day. So it's 25 years today, right? Um, so to me, that's... That's way more important to me than fucking Easter. Uh, Don. Jay, you seem really tired. So hopefully it is just you being exhausted. Um, Don. Uh, I, did, I had no idea about um, Mr. Taylor. And of course, anytime we talk about the Taylors. Not anytime, but especially now the dad dying. I immediately flash back to January of 1989 and think about their mother. And what an absolutely horrific day that was. People told me stories about high school. I mean, it's probably you. <laughs> it's funny. Bill was, still, <laughs> Bill was still in high school in 89. And the, the news that got around and... Well, oh, Jesus... So I immediately think of um, Mrs. Taylor, but uh, that's too bad about their dad. I mean, at least he would say 79 or 70, 79 maybe. I mean, hopefully he had a, a great 79 years and hopefully he found some peace and happiness after his wife was taken. I, I also remember, um, Jesus, so strange. That was a weird time for me because in January of 89, I was like in limbo. I was waiting to go to the fucking Navy. And I remember, I remember Sam coming over. Like I remember Sam would hang out at the house um, frequently, you know, some sometimes. And I remember Matt never came to the house. But I remember one evening, Sam and Matt came over. I want to say Bill was at the house, too. I could see us playing um, Mario Brothers. And I remember Matt sitting... Matt sitting in the the the, uh, the old living room, as opposed to the new room. And just sitting in there and, like... Just being... Okay, seemed like he was okay. So he was... I'm sure he wasn't. He was 18 or 19. I just remember him handling it, like, so... At least in public, so, like... I don't know. It was admirable, like how, how how much of a man he was about it, almost. And I remember going to their uh, their mom's funeral, calling hours. It was on Super Bowl Sunday, '89. Anyways, I just brought back memories of that. So, uh, terrible news, but hopefully, uh, you know, he lived a good, happy life. And you said you're going out, hanging out with your friends. I think that's cool as hell. Very rare. Do you guys still do that? You said you're playing golf. Other fun things, so that's great. Have a good time doing that next weekend. Jim, uh, look, mom told me that you're not coming. I mean, she probably sounded disappointed to you, but when, she, when you actually told her, but of course you're probably it's understandable. But I totally get that, man. Your first Easter in your new house. Uh, I don't know if there's what reason there is to ever come back to fucking Rome. You're right. Go have dinner for a couple hours and dread the ride back and do your thing, man. Like, that's, I totally get that. Um, so, yeah, especially if you're, you know, everything's still new to you guys. New traditions, you know, new holidays, things to do on holidays. That's, I totally get that. Uh, sounds like it was windy. Didn't, didn't you also use the term white caps? I don't think I've heard white caps since I, I was a kid at camp. Because that's the only time it ever applied to me. Eh. 
Looks like we're not going out this morning, guys. White caps are terrible out there. We knew what the hell it meant. But uh, it's weird, Jim, that um, that Thousand Islands Bridge now is your daily commute. And that was like a, such a, that was like fucking, I don't even know the word. So important to us, or to me anyways, like such a big thing. I don't know if I've been on that bridge more than five to ten times. Because we never really had a, you know, a reason to go there unless we're going into Canada. But it's so weird how that like that's your um, it's a daily thing for you. You're actually living the dream. You're literally living your dream, probably. So good for you. You talk about the prison. You know, I've wondered sometimes, Jim, about you, about anyone that works in a prison. And, you know, you say you have to teach, right? So I guess it's like a classroom, right? You're just teaching criminals. It's got to be. It's got to, like, affect you. Like, you must have so much, uh, such a bad taste in your mouth for people. Um, Because you see how bad they can be, but, yeah. Because you said it, it was kind of getting to you, so I, I guess I understand that too. We're on twelve minutes here. Anything else? Uh, the weekend is um, Easter, and um, look, Easter is important as hell to mom because she's so religious. Don, you talked about us going to church. I started laughing too when I was. Because I got the stupid imagination how we should all just go to church and take video. <laughs> I would love to just. I picture myself sitting in a pew next to mom and dad, and then just while the the uh, priest was giving his sermon, Eric. The only person who might know who Eric's sermon is Jay, but just giving his spiel. And we're sitting there, and I just fucking let one go on the pew. And then, <laughs> just have this face on. Uh, it'd be so great. I wonder what mom and dad would do. Just, dad would probably kick me in the shin. Mom would tell me to grow up. <laughs> Bobby, you're never going to grow up. <laughs> she said that to me a few times when I was young couple months ago <laughs> all right um all right guys so i'm glad the videos went over pretty well oh jay uh, i have to correct you i'm 95 percent sure that's not the same group that sings um pumped up kicks 95 percent sure almost 100 maybe 98 but they do sound alike um that's it all right guys have a good uh easter happy passover